Okay, uh, this is real quick. How to resize your itsy bitsy teeny tiny pixel art. If you look at my uh, pixel art, he's, I mean, really, he's the size of my paint bucket. And I want him to be bigger. I want to use him in a graphic design or something. I don't want it to appear up as a tiny little thing. But I made him, he looked big when I'm zoomed in on him, like at 3,000% or whatever. So at 2,000%, he looks like the right size. But the reality is that it's that number of pixels. So it's only, you know, 30 pixels by 30 pixels maybe. And I want to get it bigger so I can use it in an animation project or something. So here's how you do it. Very simple. We're going to just crop. We're going to crop the picture. So I'm going to get the selection tool. And I'm going to make sure I'm outside of the edge of this character as much as I can. So he's all inside, or she. And then I'm going to use the crop button right here. Crop the selection. Okay, that's step one. Now it's still itsy bitsy teeny tiny. I mean, it's only 26 by 26 squares. So now the question is, how do I actually make it so that when I'm at 100% here, he's actually a lot bigger and, and a size I can use in other projects? Well, you're going to go to image, resize, and you're going to change this. Now, normally, I believe this is on best quality. You're going to set it to nearest neighbor. Don't ask me why. And make sure that this maintain aspect ratio is unchecked, okay? And then, um, or actually, you know what? You could leave it on. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, what matters is that you change these numbers equally. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna make it 350 by 350. And let's just see. And it, it, check mark actually is probably good. I'm gonna say okay. And look at that. It looks clear and crisp like the original art I made. Now, if I zoom in, you're going to see that it's taken those pixels and it's spread them out from where they originally were. But that is a two-minute tutorial how to do that. Thanks.